Yeah. So anyway, um, those of you new, my name is Mario Orsini. Uh, I've been riding since I was five years old. Started out on a mini bike, probably like a lot of you did. Uh, eventually got went on to some larger bikes and uh, been riding on the street now for, I don't know, how old am I, 22 plus years already. Um, after college, got into some uh, got into some road racing, did that with uh, CCS and Weir for a few seasons. That was fun, but it, it was pretty obvious I was never going to win a MotoGP championship or get a factory ride, and uh, that stuff is kind of expensive to do. And I really come from an entire family of motorcyclists, and most of them, uh, their motorcycling was about touring. And I remember being a kid, and uh, my uncles and grandfather and stuff would come home from these trips and, you know, tell these awesome, amazing stories about these places they'd been. And this was back before smartphones and digital cameras. So we would have to wait weeks for the 35 millimeter film to get developed and, and printed out and then put in photo albums. And then you get to see these amazing places they'd been. So that was something I always wanted to do. And eventually, I don't know, probably five, six years ago, I started doing that. And uh, I've gone through a few different touring bikes. And, you know, at this point, I've been to 49 states, including Alaska. I've been to five Canadian provinces. I've ridden in was it five, five European countries, so seven countries total. And then next month, you know, we're going to add another country to the list. We're headed down to Costa Rica to go ride. And, uh, you know, I have, I have gotten involved in, in some off-road racing. Uh, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, you guys probably can't see it over my shoulder. I'm really proud of my uh, fifth place uh, in, in uh, Vet C this past year in SXCS. Uh, that just means um, I was the fifth fastest slow guy age 30 or above. Is basically what that means, but it's still a lot of fun to uh, compete in. I've got a son that rides. I've got a wife that has a license and will occasionally throw her leg over a bike and, and actually onto the handlebars. I got a sister that rides. So, I mean, it's just something I've always grown up with. And that's actually how I got to meet Brian is, is through, is through riding and racing. And especially the fact that, you know, our kids are friends. 